so now we are going to start working on our sleeve for that uh, right side of the work facing towards you we are going to join our yarn this is the armhole and this is the last double crochet we made uh, when we did the separation for the armholes and uh, front and back of the cardigan and this is the last uh, uh, double crochet we made and then we skipped these I think these were 26 uh, stitches that we skipped for the armholes so this is the last double crochet we worked I am going to join my yarn into that then make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and make one more double crochet into the same double crochet and one double crochet into each and every double crochet like that I will make rest of the double crochets off camera and then I will resume the video I will make one double crochet in each and every double crochet all the way to the top and then on the other side of the armhole and then I will resume the video again now I will make one double crochet into this double crochet as well this is the double crochet where we this is the double crochet first double crochet we made after we did the separation for the armhole we skipped these stitches and then we made a double crochet this is that double crochet we are going to make one double crochet into that as well and at the end of this round you should end up with 29 double crochet or 28 double crochet plus our starting chain 3 now what we will do is that we will slip stitch on the top of our first starting chain 3 and uh, don't worry about this hole this gap we can uh, we will close this hole later on now what we will do is we will make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and turn around and this is our first available double crochet so we will make front post double crochet into each and every stitch all the way to the end this round is very simple and easy <coughs> we are simply going to make a front post double crochet into each and every round all the way to the end I am at the end of this round so we are going to skip this starting chain 3 we are not going to make any stitches into that because this starting chain 3 counts as our first double crochet but instead of just slip stitching like that what I will do is that I will insert from the behind and then I will slip stitch into that and now our round is complete what I will do now is that I will cut the yarn because I'm going to change the color join the other yarn on the top of our starting chain 3 from the last round and then make chain 3 because we are going to work on our first round of star stitch 1 2 and three and into the second chain from the hook pull up a loop from third loop uh, this is where we joined our this yarn we are going to pull up a loop from there as well and we are going to pull up a loop into next two stitches as well like that you have six loops on your crochet hook pull, pull through all of them and then you make chain one I have already told how I have already showed how to make star stitch so that's why I'm not going to in much details so 
pull up a loop from the eye of the star stitch and from the spike of the star stitch from the base of that spike and next two stitches these two stitches I'm going to pull up a loop you have total six loops on your crochet hook pull through all of them repeat this all the way to the end you should end up with 14 star stitches I will resume the video when I reach here I have worked my last uh, star stitch what we are going to do now is that we are going to make a one more half double crochet into the same stitch where we started our round and where we have made the starting chain 3 we are going to make one half double crochet into that and then we are going to slip stitch on the top of our starting chain 3 to complete our round now make chain 2 1 and 2 and turn around skip all the stitches and this is the eye of the star stitch this hole we are going to make two half double crochets into that and two half double crochet into each and every eye of each and every star stitch like that these hole these holes in each and every star stitch is going to be called our eye of the star stitch make two half double crochet into that I have made last two half double crochet into the last uh, star stitch I am going to slip stitch on the top of our chain 2 into the second chain and at the end of this round you should end up with 14 star stitches plus starting chain through chain 3 which uh, sorry chain 2 which counts as our first half double crochet now what we will do is that right side of the work facing towards us what we will do is you can join into any of the stitches i will join on the top of this uh, it's better that you join at the top of starting chain 2 and then you make chain 1 and one single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet into each and every stitch like that slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then make chain 3 1 2 3 and turn around and we have already made a stitch on the top of this single crochet so we are not going to make any stitches on that but into each and every single crochet we are going to make front post double crochet like that make a front post double crochet into e around the post of each and every single crochet to the end slip stitch uh, on the top of our starting chain 3 and then make chain 1 and turn and make one back post double, uh, single crochet into this starting chain 3 around the post of starting chain 3 and one back post back post single crochet into each and every stitch like that one back post one back post single crochet into each and every stitch to the end slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then make chain 2 1 and 2 and turn around 
this starting chain two counts as our first half double crochet and now make one half double crochet into each and every stitch like that simple as that one half double crochet into each and every stitch to the end slip stitch on the top of our starting chain two and then cut the yarn because we are going to work on our star stitch again and now what we are going to do i'm not going to show you guys how to crochet star stitch because i have already shown so i will save some time so repeat <clears throat> so repeat this section from this from first round of the star stitch until now make two rounds of uh, star stitch to complete the star stitch and then make one single crochet into each and every stitch and then front post double crochet then back post single crochet and then round off one half double crochet into each and every stitch repeat this section once more and then i will resume the video again i have uh, repeated this section once more and now we are going to work on our cuff like this and for that what we are going to do is we are going to make chain 3 1 2 3 and into the next uh, available front uh, what you call it double crochet we are going to make a front post double crochet back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet into the next and again back post double crochet into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one front post double crochet and one back post double crochet all the way to the end now what i will do is that i will skip this starting chain three and i will slip stitch on the top of the first front post double crochet we are going to skip this because we have 29 stitches and on the cuff part we are going to need equal numbers of the stitches so that's why we converted these 92 into nine, uh, sorry uh, these 29 stitches into 28 now i will make chain 3 1 2 3 and this starting chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet i will make a front post double crochet into the front post double crochet and back post double crochet into the back post double crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end and then i will resume the video again skip our starting chain three and uh, because this starting chain three we did not use is uh, did not use it as our first double crochet so that's why we are going to skip it we made that chain three just to come little bit up now I will make chain 3 and I will repeat the last round once more by making one front post, front post double crochet into all front posts and a back post double crochet into all back post double crochet all the way to the end and then I will slip stitch on the top of that and uh, then I will resume the video when we are going to work on rest of the cardigan. Sorry I made a mistake we are not going to add any more rounds at the cuff this was the last round i thought maybe we made an extra round on the other side but when i checked we did not make any extra round on the other sleeve you can repeat the uh, what you call it uh, uh, you can repeat this round as many times as you want to if you want it a little bit bigger or anything like that but uh, a little bit longer but i don't want it more longer so i will uh, stop working on my cuff now uh, my sleeve is done now so our cardigan is almost done the only thing we are missing right now is that we are going to make a button band and the button band with the button uh, holes for the button these are the things that are left to work 
for that what we are going to do is that I'm going to join the contrasting color on the bottom right side here I will join and I will zoom in now a little bit video I just wanted to show you guys where I am gonna join the color now I have shown that so I will zoom in a little bit so that it's easy for me to show you guys on the video what we are going to do is this is the uh, starting chain 3 of the last round that we made on the cardigan we are going to join on the bottom of that we are going to join our yarn I will make chain 1 and then make one single crochet and then make one single crochet into the same stitch and then what we are going to do or the method I use is that we are going to make a single crochet on the side of this starting chain 3 as well and now this is the uh, top of our single crochet which this is the uh, back post single crochet we made this tiny hole is top of that single crochet one single crochet into that and now this is our starting chain 3 this is our starting chain 3 what we will do we will make two single crochets on the side of that starting chain 3 1 and 2 and now what we will do is this is our single crochet that uh, we made mm, this is the first round of the single crochet we made after our star stitch we will make a single crochet into that like that the next is our star stitch round I will make one single crochet into the this is the half double crochet I'm going to make one single crochet uh, chain two this is chain two which is counted as our half double cr double crochet I made a single crochet into that and single crochet on the side of our half double crochet into the next round and now what we will do is that this is the base of this uh, half double crochet and top of this um, uh, what you, uh, yeah this is the top of that half double crochet we made uh, after uh, back post single crochet round we made a half double crochet round this is top of that and this is base of this half double crochet of the first round of our star stitch I'm going to make a single crochet into that one single crochet on the side of this half double crochet one single crochet we are going to make into this single crochet it's hard to show because it's back post single crochet but there is this hole this one we are going to make a single crochet into that the next is chain 3 uh, starting chain 3 so we will make two single crochets into that on the side of that chain 3 one single crochet into this single crochet one single crochet into the base of that single crochet and top of uh, uh, what you call it uh, half double crochet one single crochet into the on the side of that half double crochet and one single crochet on the side of next half double crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat what we will do is we will try to make one single crochet evenly like here this is the base of this of, uh, half double crochet and top of this chain 2 uh, we will make one single crochet into that one single crochet on the side of that half double crochet or chain 2 one single crochet into this single crochet this is back post single crochet two single crochets into starting chain three again one single crochet into this uh, single crochet and one single crochet on the base of that double uh, single crochet and top of this uh, uh, chain two space and uh, sorry chain starting chain two and one single crochet 
into both rounds of the star stitch repeat this pattern and I will resume the video when I reach here this is the yoke side of the cardigan now we are on the round where our yoke was uh, what you call it ended what I did I made one I'm going to make one single crochet on this side of that double crochet one single crochet on the bottom of that double crochet and top of the starting chain three one single crochet on the side of chain three one single crochet on the bottom of that chain three and top of the double crochet from the next round this is the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the up here to the collar but uh, the only thing that uh, what we are going to do is we are going to make one single crochet on the side of double crochet one single crochet on the bottom of that double crochet one in on the side of chain three one on the bottom of chain three in a nutshell you are going to make two single crochet into each round of these double crochets or chain three or whatever that is and until we reach here and then i will resume the video again i am on the right uh, top side of the front and i have made the single crochet and now i have only one to go this is the base of our starting chain three that we made uh, we skipped these three uh, what you call it uh, chains and then we made one double crochet into the fourth one this is base of that uh, chain i am going to make three single crochets into that one two and three and from now on it is very easy what you are going to do is that i will make rest of the round off camera so that i can save some time you are going to make simply one single crochet into each and every chain at the neckline or into the base of each and every double crochet of the neckline all the way to here this is the left front side collar side what i will do i will make uh, three single crochet into that here and then i will repeat on this side on the left side i will repeat what i did here i will repeat all the way to the bottom here and then i will resume the video again i have uh, completed the round and uh, completed the pattern until here and now i have done done some stitch marking on the right side left right, uh, front side what i did i did some marking and i will show you guys by zooming a little bit in that what i did was that this is the central we made three single crochet here on the corner this is first single crochet this is second and this is third i placed a stitch marker into the third one and then i skipped one two three four five six and seven single crochet and into the eighth one i placed a stitch marker again i skipped one two three four five six seven single crochets and into the eighth one i placed a stitch marker these three uh, stitches which uh, where i have placed stitch markers these are going to be the button holes now what we will do is that i will make chain one turn around and make a single crochet into the base of same chain one and one single crochet all the way up to the first stitch marker make one single crochet into each and every single crochet until we reach here this is our first uh, stitch marker chain two one and two and skip this stitch where we have placed our stitch marker and one single crochet into next all of the stitches until we reach our next uh, stitch marker or into next seven single crochets two three four five six seven 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन चेन टू वन एंड टू स्कीप नेक्स्ट स्टिच वेयर वी हैव प्लेस आर स्टिच मार्कर एंड वन सिंगल क्रोशे इन टू नेक्स्ट सेवन सिंगल क्रोशे थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन एंड देन अगेन वन एंड टू स्कीप नेक्स्ट सिंगल क्रोशे एंड वन सिंगल दिस इज देंट्रल सिंगल क्रोशे Uh, of the set of three single crochets we will make three single crochets into that 1 2 and 3 and then it's very easy we are going to make one single crochet this is the neckline we are going to make we are going to make one single crochet into each and every single crochet until we reach here and this is first sing this is the set of three single crochets again this is first one this is second one and this is the third one into the into the second or the middle one we are going to make three single crochets and then one single crochet all the way to the end here and then i will resume the video again i have reached here what i will do i will make chain one and i will make one single crochet into each and every single crochet until we reach here until i reach here into the central uh, uh we made three single crochets here on the corner into the second one or the central one i'm going to make three single crochet and then one single crochet all around the neckline and then i will resume the video when i reach here we are at the other corner and what we will do now is that this is the set of three single crochets i'm going to make one single crochet into first one and into the second one i'm going to make one two and three single crochets one single crochet into next two stitches the two single crochets and now this is the chain to be made in last round i will make two single crochets into that chain two space one and two and now one single crochet into next seven single crochets one two three four five six and seven again this is our uh, chain 2 from the last round we will make two single crochets into that chain 2 space and one single crochet into next seven single crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6, six and seven two single crochets into chain 1 chain 2 space from the last round and then i will make one single crochet into each and every single crochet all the way to the end i cut the yarn because we are done uh, almost done with our cardigan the only thing that is missing is that we are going to attach the buttons here on the button band on the right side and that's it these are the three uh, what you call it button holes you will align the button band ho uh, button hole band with the button band and then you will sew the button here on the right side but now there is only one thing that we need to do and that is that we need to close this um uh, these holes under the arms um holes what we are going to do for that is that we will thread the needle with the yarn and the rest is very simple as e and easy you guys even don't need to watch my video to do that i'm sure you guys know that already but still i will do it on camera <coughs> and i will show you guys just one 
one side and the other side I will do off camera this is the hole I will just close the hole by making stitches through both sides of the double crochets like that <clears throat> cut a little bit longer tail and then make a couple of random knots of with the both ends of the yarn just to secure the ends then I will take another needle and hide the end of these these ends of the yarn cut the extra yarn and you are good to go I will do the other side off camera here this uh, hole is closed and I will do other side off camera and then I will have to weave in the ends and uh, but your cardigan is done so I have done the boring part and by boring parts I mean the attaching the button and weaving in the ends I have done that off camera and this is uh, I have already made this one and I made this one for the sake of the video it's done i have attached the button and i have high i have hidden the uh, ends of the yarn and now it's done uh, this is the second part the i will share the link to the first part of the cardigan in the description box if you guys got, uh, of course you are guys are gonna start with the part one and uh, then um, i will post the link in the description box and this is it this is how it is if uh, you guys liked my video if it was easy to follow and it if it was easy to understand please like share and uh, my video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting